Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a mini masterclass on a wonderful trombone warm-up by Joe Alessi, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? I hope you are all doing well. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Nathan and I would like to personally welcome you to my own YouTube channel. So I really recommend you guys stick around, watch the entire video all the way until the end. For those of you who want to skip ahead through the tips I'm going to give on this, here is the timestamp. You can go ahead and skip along. I recommend you play along or just listen. I'm going to be going over five tips for this great trombone warm up that you can add to your routine. But I will warn you, it is going to blow your mind. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to post right now a picture of the warm up. Take a look. Now you want to keep in mind with this warm up that the picture that I showed only shows obviously one position. I'm going to be doing this routine all the way through slide positions one to six. Here is just the first portion of this exercise, the sheet music that I just posted. <laughs> Now obviously that was just the first portion of the exercise, but I'm going to use that as a demonstration for how you're going to go about this. So like I said, here are five tips on how to best utilize this exercise. Tip number one, you're going to want to use a lot of air for this. Your metronome is going to be set to 84. This exercise is in six, okay? So da, 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 da. Don't mind my horrible singing. Um, so yeah, metronome is going to be set to 84. You want to breathe in for four clicks each time. Okay, for example. Okay, and you're going to be going down chromatic. Now, it's important that in between each of these, in between each position, that you are getting a full breath of air for four clicks. You want to always, 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 with trombone breathing, breathe from the bottom up. You don't want to be doing any chest breathing. You want to stay nice and relaxed, breathing from the bottom up for four clicks. And then play the exercise. A great tip is when I'm breathing in, when I'm thinking from the bottom up, I'm thinking of expanding. When you're breathing, you want to almost think of it like blowing up a balloon expanding so that you can get as much air as possible. My next tip is to think of this exercise as several things. One of them being a lip slur. You'll realize that when Joe Alessi made this lip slur, he was doing it for multiple reasons. And in my opinion, one of them was to kind of add the lip slur to the glissing. Really important thing to be doing in your warm up. Joe Alessi is so amazing. So when you're doing this and thinking about the slurs, the partials you're blowing through are the B flat F B flat partial, those three partials right there. <laughs> So you're blowing through those registers and you're just going down a half step. So you're actually not only thinking of this as a glissing warm up, but also a lip slur warm up. When you're doing this, um, you want to have the mentality of the lip slur. Want your, your movement from each partial to be nice and smooth. So thinking of this like a lip slur is really, really going to help. My next tip. Tip number three is to really pay attention to your tongue. The tongue is only going to articulate the first note of the first triplet of each one. For example, so you're only articulating the first note of each segment. 
ta right and then you're doing the gliss through the rest of it it's really important to get your tongue out of the way because like i said with the lip slur mentality you only want to articulate the first note so really important get your tongue out of the way and let your air and chops do the rest of the work my next tip for this exercise tip number four is to really pay attention to your slide movement we don't want sloppy slides as trombonists we want to be quick we want to be aggressive but we also want to be relaxed. So there's your three key words there. Quick, aggressive, but relaxed. So you say, how is this possible? Well, watch my slide when I do this. Now, I'm doing all three of those things and with that in mind, you want to keep the wrist relaxed, but moving aggressive enough to keep in time. Okay. And that brings me to my next tip, tip number five. For my last tip, tip number five is to be aware of the time. Your metronome is key for this. Like I said, your metronome is set to 84 beats per minute. And with this, you really want to think of the downbeats of your triplets. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Right? Again, don't mind my horrible singing. You want to make sure that this is in time. Don't ever get lazy with your time. The purpose of a warm-up is, besides to get yourself warmed up, is to get yourself prepared to playing music. And when you're playing music, your brain needs to be on. So why would you turn your brain off for a warm-up, especially with time? When the metronome is set, you need to be locked into it and you need to be ready to have consistent time. Now, it's important that when you establish each one, each slide segment, you want to be in time with the triplets, have the triplet feel. Triple lit, triple lit, triple lit, triple lit, okay? A good thing I like to do is, um, it's a little basic, but I like to clap. Okay? And if your clapping is off, your trombone playing is gonna be off as well. Now, with all those tips in mind, you are now ready to play this exercise. I'm going to put my clip of me playing this exercise right now. Feel free to listen or play along. One other thing to keep in mind is that when I do this exercise, I do do this coming up as well. So enjoy this exercise. I hope that it can help you in your trombone warm up. I would also recommend doing this after you've either done your long tones or after you've done your lip slurs, after you're feeling a little good. Okay? Hope this helps you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. I highly recommend you go check out Joe Alessi's website. Go to www.alessimusicstudios.com. There's a lot of great resources on there that I hope you can use. I'll put a link down in the description to his website. I highly, highly recommend you go check it out. I believe due to COVID-19, he has a discount going on right now too. So you don't want to miss that. Guys, if you haven't already, I would please ask that you hit that like button. It would help out my channel so much and it will help out with the YouTube algorithm if you hit that like button. I would also ask that you please consider subscribing to my channel for future content that I do plan on posting. For long term subscribers, I would ask that you please leave a comment. Let me know how you guys like these new videos and if I get enough likes and enough comments, I'll post more videos just like this one.
Guys, if you enjoy this teaching style, um, I am teaching private online lessons right now. Link is in the description with all the details. So if you are interested in that anywhere around the world, but you do have to speak English, um, I am teaching online Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, anything that works for you. If you like this teaching style, please feel free to reach out to me. Details are in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Thank you.